All right, so let's say for the holidays, you got a brand new smartphone. Someone in your family was feeling super generous and they got you a brand new smartphone. So let's say you're going from an iPhone to the brand new, super nice, good looking S24 Ultra. You have this new bad boy phone. But now the thing is, is that you have a brand new phone and it's completely empty. So you don't have anything on it and you wanna get all your old data and like photos and videos and everything that you have on your old phone. But how do you do that? So today I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do so. I'm gonna be able to transfer your data from your iPhone to your Samsung. So with that said, the platform we're using today is called Dr. Phone by Wondershare. It's one of the better platforms out there to transfer data from an, from an old phone to a new phone. And the main reason why it's one of the best ones is because this process is actually very intuitive. And not only that, it's simple. It's, it's really just, it works. So it has a few features and some really nice specific things to it but its main function is to transfer data and it just does it really well now with all that being said i know you're excited to get into your new phone let's jump right into the setup all right so once you have the doctor phone software downloaded you're going to see it here it is a very simple software to use i mean it has a very similar design i think we're all familiar with that if you remember kind of like how itunes is designed you'll notice that everything is on the left hand side so you have all of the little things here once your phone is connected you'll see here i have my iphone connected and it show it shows a lot of data on your phone it shows a lot of things that you can access so if ever you're interested into that you can always take a look and just browse that by yourself but here in toolbox you'll find the majority of the things today we're going to be using this specific tool here called phone transfer it's going to allow you to one click transfer and supports all kinds of data types so you can really just transfer just about anything and everything so once you want to start the data transfer you, all you have to do is click on phone transfer once it starts to open you'll see it here at the bottom so it's mine is already plugged in what i did is i went ahead and i plugged in my iphone 13 pro max and i started to download all of the stuff once your phone is plugged in the software is fully optimized it'll recognize what phone you're using so in my case it was the iphone it recognized it it's starting to download the data so all of the stuff that's on my iphone that will be now moved into the new samsung s24 ultra so now it's downloading all the data down here as you'll see it says more than three hours i really don't think that's going to be the case um it might show up a pop-up message where it says do you trust this computer now it can happen sometimes uh, it's important to check if your phone is open if it does go on lock screen it will ask you that so just make sure you pay attention to that all right so now if you pay attention on the screen it says that it's connected so that means the data has been fully transferred there's a list here in the middle that allows you to check a bunch of stuff so now what you want to do s24 ultra you want to plug it in i have the cable right here so i've now officially plugged in my s24 ultra it is now initializing as you'll see here on the screen it's going to take a little bit of time but the iphone has successfully downloaded all of the data so it's ready to transfer now all we need to do is wait for the Samsung or whatever other smartphone you have to initialize. It's actually pretty quick. The only thing that I do have to point out is that I, I had to enable developer mode on the Samsung. So what you have to do is pretty simple. You can just uh, search it in the settings for your Samsung, just search developer mode, or you can just go about phone, go all the way down into developer mode. And you have to like the built number or the built system or whatever there's see you'll see there's a one little feature there you have to press it seven times it'll enable developer mode once you're in developer mode you want to go on usb debugging and you want to turn it on so it allows you to actually have access to services like this so once the initializing for the samsung is done we'll be able to transfer the data all right so now that both of your phones are connected and plugged into the computer you can officially start the download process now with all that ready to go you can now start transferring the data from your iphone to your samsung or whatever other phone you want to do in this case i'm going to be transferring from the iphone to the samsung so as you'll see in the middle there's a category that allows you to pick a few of the categories so i'm just going to kind of pick some of these and just choose which ones i want to do so i'm going to put those in and then you can start ahead and go ahead and click on transfer now you can go ahead and leave the software and just let it do its thing for a little while if you want to catch a break just we'll go ahead and go take a little coffee break in the meantime but let it do its thing it's going to transfer all the data and then when it's when it's done i'll show you guys the data transferred from my iphone to the samsung just so you guys can see how it worked all right so now your data transfer should be complete um, everything should be downloaded on your phone. I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a preview on basically what the data transfer looks like. So it downloads basically everything and everything. I'm not gonna show you all of the files in my phone because obviously there's a lot of stuff that's just personal to me, you know, my private conversations and all that stuff. But I will show you my um, actual camera roll. So I'm gonna show you the pictures that kind of just transferred. Um, so if you open up gallery here, you'll be able to see. But if you start to see here, the transfer has been fully completed. So if we could take, kind of take a closer look here, if I'm going down here in the pictures, you'll see all of my pictures have been fully transferred. And so we're looking at a proper transfer here. Obviously, they're still plugged in, but you can officially just take all of these out. 
So I will have a close up shot of this just so you guys can see better how the transfer is. I'll have a little bit of a slow mo and showing you guys kind of like the pictures and everything. But yeah, it downloaded basically everything. So if you want to transfer a bunch of other stuff, you can also do that. Now, the best part about this is that I've been able to fully download all of my data and this. But if you guys want to take advantage of the other things that are available on Dr. Phone, it's really, really good for that. You guys have screen unlock, you have system repair, WhatsApp transfer. This is another really popular one. I know a lot of people they really like to use WhatsApp transfer because it's a multi, it's a super used platform and everyone uses it for text messaging. But there's a lot of other stuff too. You know, you have data recovery, um, you have data eraser, um, phone transfer, which we just used, and then password manager. Another one that I think that it's pretty popular a lot of the times is screen unlock. So this will allow you to actually unlock a phone that has a password in that you can get into. This is pretty convenient. I mean, if you find a lost phone, um, you want to get into the phone or whatnot, you can kind of do that. But yeah, overall, really good good platform to transfer all of your data from your iPhone to your Samsung. Again, if you want to check out Dr. Phone, if you got a new phone, if you're thinking about getting a new phone and you want to kind of go about this process relatively easy, then check out Dr. Phone. I'll leave everything in the description down below. I want to give a huge shout out to Dr. Phone for making this video possible. I'm really hoping by the time you guys are watching this video that you got a new phone for the holidays. That would be nice. Um, I'm now going to go ahead and get into my S24 Ultra as my files have all been fully transferred now with that said thank you so much for watching another video i will see you guys very shortly i will catch you on another episode until then i wish you the best of luck in everything you do and i'll catch you on the next one deuces